GROUP IS TRYING TO SAVE A NEARLY 90-YEAR-OLD MOVIE THEATER. A LOCAL DEVELOPER IS LOOKING TO TURN THAT THEATER INTO AN OFFICE BUILDING. Now, the theater in question is located on Fond du Lac's Main Street. It's been an icon in that community since 1925. But for the last seven years, it's sat empty and has fallen into disrepair. Today, Fox 11's Alex Ranallo spoke with those hoping to save the theater and those hoping to develop the site. She joins us now, live now from the Valley Newsroom. Hi, Michelle. Well, those on both sides of the argument told me childhood stories about the Retlaw Theater, seeing Psycho there or Star Wars when they first came out. But while there is passion to save the theater, some say it just can't be saved. We have balanced coverage tonight. If you grew up in Fond du Lac, chances are you have a happy memory at the Retlaw Theater. It was so neat to be in there. It was so beautiful. It was amazing, and it just... It breaks my heart that they just want to destroy something so beautiful. Commonwealth Companies of Fond du Lac wants to knock down the theater and make it a parking lot while putting office space and apartments next door. The group does plan to save and rehabilitate the front facade of the building. There'll still be the lobby space. Um, in fact, we're going to restore that um, to back to kind of its historic grandeur. It's kind of like taking the pages out of a book. We think the theater needs to stay. The group Friends of the Retlaw Theater has formed to save the theater. I felt like um, over the past 30 or 40 years, it's really lost a lot of the historical buildings because um, it always seems like time is of the essence. They admit the Art Deco building needs work. The roof leaks, there's water damage and mold. The state uh, actually found it to be structurally sound in April. So um, they're really throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I completely applaud their passion for it, but you have to step back. These old buildings, um, it, they cost more to redevelop than, it, than they do to um, build new space. The city says it's been almost a decade since the theater's been open. If there had been an opportunity to redevelop the theater in a financially feasible way, uh, it probably would have been done by now. The city will receive a $400,000 grant from the state for the redevelopment and says it's the right move. The longer a building is vacant, um, it becomes a blight on the community, and the downtown is a part and part of the community. When it's, it's gone, it's never coming back. Now, Commonwealth Companies president tells me the sale of the property should be finalized in the next few days. He says construction would start soon after. However, the friends of the Rett Law say they've hired a lawyer to try and stop the project. Reporting in the Valley Newsroom, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.